Ever wondered why divers almost never see female ribbon eels? Quick hook, they're not vanishing. Most just haven't become female yet. Here's the myth bust. People think females are rare, but ribbon eels are born one way and end up another. Juveniles start out jet black with a yellow dorsal stripe. As they grow, they turn electric blue with yellow accents. Those are males. Only later in life do some males transition to female, usually turning bright yellow. So females aren't scarce by population, they're scarce by timing. Now, the lifespan twist. In the wild, ribbon eels can live many years. Some sources suggest up to about 20. That long runway means loads of time spent as juveniles and males before a few finally switch and breed as females. If you're a diver dropping in for an hour, odds are you'll meet youngsters and males way more often. Captivity complicates everything. Ribbon eels are famously fussy eaters in tanks. Many refuse food, lose condition and die within months. That short window makes long-term observation rare and female sightings even rarer because most never live long enough in captivity to make the switch. So the where are the females? Question has a simple answer. They exist, but they're the late chapter in a long book. You're sampling the prologue. Quick ID recap. Black with yellow line, juvenile, blue with yellow, male, bright yellow, likely female. Takeaway, longevity, sex change timing. Poor survival in captivity equals a dive log full of juveniles and males. The females are there, just mostly later and mostly in the wild. If you spot a yellow ribbon eel on a reef, you've probably just met the finale of a lifelong transformation. Lucky you.